Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Thursday, April the 28th, 2011. The scripture for this service, Psalm 147, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 through 14, and the Song of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 through 79. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, sing praise to the Most High, who is good. Alleluia, Psalm 48. Alleluia, sing praise to the Most High, who is good. Sing to our God, who is loving. To God our praise is due. You build up Jerusalem and bring back Israel's exiles. You heal the brokenhearted and bind all their wounds. You fix the number of the stars and call each one by its name. You are great and almighty. Your wisdom can never be measured. You raise the lowly and humble the wicked to the dust. We sing to you and give thanks. We sing psalms to you with the harp. You cover the heavens with clouds and prepare the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve our needs. You provide the beasts with their food and the young ravens when they cry. You take no delight in horses' power, nor pleasure in warrior strength. You delight in all who fear you, in those who wait for your love. O oh, praise our God, Most High Jerusalem, Zion, praise your God. You have strengthened the bars of your gates and have blessed the children within you, have established peace within your borders, and feed your people with finest wheat. You send out word to the earth and swiftly runs the command. You shower down snow white as wool and scatter frost like ashes. You hurl down hailstones like crumbs and cause the waters to freeze. You send forth your word and it melts them. At the breath of your mouth the waters flow to make your word known to Jacob, to Israel, your laws and decrees. You have not dealt thusly with other nations, have not taught them divine decrees. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing praise to the Most High, who is good. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37 beginning at verse 1. The hand of Yahweh came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of Yahweh, and set me down in the middle of a valley, and the valley was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. And he said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O oh, Lord Yahweh, you know. And then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus says Lord Yahweh to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you and you shall live, and you shall know that I am Yahweh. And so I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. And then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, Prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. And then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost, we are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says Lord Yahweh, I am going to open your graves, 
and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am Yahweh when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, Yahweh, have spoken and will act, says Yahweh. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petition for God's people throughout the world, for Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, for this gathering, and for all ministers and people, for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all, for justice and peace. For the poor, the sick, especially Stephen Michael, Melody, um, Gail, and Annabelle, and for a cure for cancer. For the hungry and the oppressed, for those in prison, and for those in any need or trouble. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Judith. For the unemployed, especially James, Bill, and Robert. For all who seek God, or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found by God, especially Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Donald Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, Stephen Michael, William Irwin, Brian Brendan, and all the MGC associates. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially George, Louise, Sarah, Howard, Billy, Lloyd, Lawrence, Stephen, Margaret, Dwight, Dan, Joanne, Hugh, Charles and Tom and Wayne, Martin, Kevin, Philip, David, Ramon Ivan, Joseph Benedict, Miriam, Suzanne, Walter Arthur, Robert Patrick, Stephen Edward, and John William David, and for all who have died. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia. Blessed are you, God of Israel. Alleluia. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old, you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord, 
God of Israel. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.